Um, we're going to use a place value approach. So we're going to talk about the places and the columns and the labels and the values and so on that are represented. So we're, I've got six places. It depends on the question as to how many you need, of course. I'm going to suggest that you use lowercase uh, initials or, or abbreviations for the decimal places. It doesn't mean anything as such, but just to distinguish them from the whole numbers. And of course we need our decimal points. So as I've said in other videos, and you've perhaps heard me in other videos say this, we don't recommend that students move the decimal point or use that sort of language or use that sort of approach. Now we know that that's what it looks like. So let's take an example, say 64 divided by 10. What's that going to be? It's 6.4. It sort of looks like the decimal point, which was after the four has skipped over this way by one place. And that's the way I learned it at school, and I know that's what um, is happening in a lot of classrooms. But it's not, it's not legitimate, it's not valid, it's not what's happening. The decimal point doesn't move, but the digits move. So we need to impress upon our students the fact that the values are changing. If we're dividing by 10, we're getting a tenth part, so every number in every column will move into the next column because that's one tenth of the size. And we can establish that with you know, other methods, base 10 blocks and that sort of thing. So what we're going to do, rather than say, let's move the decimal point, we're going to say, let's move the digits into a new place. So let's start with a number, 573, and let's divide that by 100. So we know we're going to move everything to places. We can establish that with our students through um, understanding what that means and the fact that 100 is like two places. So if we divide by 10, that's moving one place and so on. So we're moving everything this way, two places. So we might put an arrow with a number two next to it. Move everything two places. The five, of course, will end up in the ones place. The seven will be in the tenths and the three will be in the hundredths. Let's take another one. Uh, we'll start with a number with a decimal place, perhaps. So let's say 4.2. And we're going to divide that by 10 because I don't want to run out of places. The 4 will end up in the next column. The 2 will move over 1. And of course we must put a 0 to show 0 ones. So that's the basic approach. You could uh, duplicate sheets with place value charts if students were having difficulty with this. Uh, but basically uh, students shouldn't have too much trouble.